And welcome back everyone, it's me Picky Gaming here, welcome back to more Mutant Genetic Gladiator news. So guys, this is the month, we're probably only a week or two away from the anniversary event that's about to happen, so most of these things are going to be happening whilst the anniversary event is happening, so, but and I have no, no source of, no, no information of what's coming out with it, besides it's a continuation from last year's anniversary event, which I unfortunately wasn't around for. So all this is just normal news. At the moment, it's got nothing to do with the anniversary event. If you guys know anything, let us know in the comments below. But let's get on with the news. So back for 24 hours only, Saturday to Friday, we've got mutants available. We'll go through them one at a time when, it's, when we get a bit further on. We have team play at its best. So we've got three mutants available for gold. Limited offer, you've got the cyber pack, so you've got a random chance of a cyber mutant available. Again, if you're someone like me that has a lot of mutants, you're going to get a lot of repeat, well, not repeat, but the same mutants as normal. So, yeah. Um, they are back. So we've got Time Soldiers and Western Mutants react mutants in, available in the reactor in the mutants reactor so again easy way to get mutants that are hard to acquire you can get even if you get the gold or silver version you can breed its normal version and be able to make a platinum version out of it so you've got the western and time soldiers available exceptional bank offer now this seems very interesting i want to get that um oh i forget which one it, which what it's called hopefully it's got its correct name when we get further on but you can get gold and a mutant for real money, but it does get pretty steep. It does get really steep, <laughs> but we'll talk about that when we uh, focus on it more. Big shot of Mutostrone discount. So I'd say this is really for only people that are playing it by playing this game by themselves or don't have a lot of um, friends on Facebook playing this game. <laughs> friends. Uh, only because if you've got a lot of friends and your daily gifters, you're going to have plenty of mutostrone available but if you don't you could possibly buy it but you just send them into fight you can gain mutostrone that way anyway uh between fear and madness again three mutants for gold available and you got this uh, a new zodiac not a new zodiac but a, another zodiac mutant filtering through for the month so now let's get into depth let's first go through the each mutant available for 24 hours so, we've got this, uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> this Trunks Mutants on the 17th available. And I had someone in the comments of one video going, it, it, it doesn't look like Trunks at all, it's not a Trunks Mutant. It, it is, it is, it's, it's, it's Trunks, you know, if anyone watches Dragon Ball Z, that is Trunks. It's got the sword, got the purple jacket, even got the emblem on his shoulder. Now, I know this one says M and it's probably for Mutant or Mutant Academy or something like that, Mutant Corp. But on Trunks' is one, it was um, Capsule Corp. So, you know, it's that, that's the Trunks mutants. They've got a they've got a normal Super Saiyan. I don't know if it's Goku, but a normal mutant that looks like Goku. Um, they've also got a Freezer-looking mutant. Margin Zoom, which is Margin Boo. <laughs> they, they do alter the characters. And if you, any of you guys know about copyright things with um, using the same characters... Uh, uh, what is it? You've got to alter an image by, I don't know if it's 5 or 10% um, or somewhere in that range. You've got to alter an Im image for it to be okay to be used. Okay, and then you've got, um, I don't know if this name's correct, but uh, this name is correct. I was going to say correct or right, but I said correct. Anyway, um, Zenguru available on the 18th for 1,000 gold. Uh, and then you've got on the 19th, Music, Bones, and... Well, not, not music, but just Bones and Roses. Now, I really like this mutant. I actually use this mutant to defeat the last stage of the campaign uh, quests. Quests, well, the campaign, last stage of the campaign. And he's pretty good. Uh, do you buy him? No. No, you don't. And here's the reason why. In the music reactor... Uh, in the music reactor... No, reactor... In the mutant reactor, there's a category of music mutants. I've got like hair in my like glasses. Um, and you can spin and get a platinum version 
of this guy. So probably don't buy him. You can get him in the music reactor. And then, oh, I forget what this one was called. I know I've done a, a spotlight video on this many a, many a, well, a little while ago. On the 20th, um, I don't know, robot looking, I think it's a, I don't know. I think it's got a necro, some necro in it or something like that. It's okay, mutant. Not not worth, none of these mutants are worth getting. On the 21st, available for credit. So again, if you don't have this mutant, get it because credits aren't that important really. Like, yes, you use them to upgrade, but if you played the game long enough, you should be able to produce a lot of credits yourself anyway. Uh, so that mutant's available on the 21st. Don't know its real name. You've got this warrior available platinum version on the 22nd so if you don't want to waste the time trying to make a platinum version of this warrior you can easily buy for 1500 gold on the 22nd and then you've got this rachni available on the 23rd not a great mutant can't recommend it but 850 gold again if any of these mutants available for 24 hours are in your bingo grid and it's the last mutant to get something really good i'm talking about um what's it called the gold furnaces slash forges or gold in general think about purchasing them if you can get those and then we have the um what was it called again it was the, called the exclusive um exceptional bank offer so available right here i don't know if i can fit four of them on the screen or maybe I've, i don't know how i'm going to do it because they're not right next to me there but anyway so you've got the very first one for four dollars ninety nine or five dollar redos. Um, that mutant's not half bad. I've seen it used in PvP. So I would, if you want to spend real money on it, I do recommend possibly getting that mutant with the four hundred and eighty gold available. Not not bad. I see it being used in PvP, and if it's used in PvP, it's good enough for everyone to use. It's it's a good rate, highly rated mutant. And then you've got this Master Pause one available for $10 redos. Now, Master Pause was a... Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if he was a free mutant, but you, you earned him for free, I believe, because it was some community mutant or something like that. We got to name it or or something. It was, it was a little while ago, but if you were playing if you're playing this game for a while you should already have this mutant for nothing so it's not worth spending the money on and and in general it's you don't see it in pvp i own it i can't rate him that good he's okay he was pretty good when he came out but i can't recommend you get him now this is gonna pull my hair out the triad mutant twenty dollar dues oh. twenty dollars for a mutant yes you get two thousand eight hundred gold and a couple of jackpot tokens but really you're looking at the mutant and twenty dollars to get this mutant Ooh, i do want it for those of you that got it through the pvp congratulations i hate you <laughs> no, no um no it could, oh, it's it's good it doesn't have a lot of health but he attacks his speed's pretty good and he's attacked pretty good he's a lot like a gerard steel garden but faster and so he's able to build up his shield quite a lot. So uh, up to you guys if you go get him. I do recommend him, but I don't recommend you spend $20 on the game. That's my personal opinion. For those of you that like spending money or have more money than God, go ahead, buy it. <laughs> and then this other mutant I don't know too much about. Again, I don't see it in the PvP. $50 though for a mutant. <sighs> I, I don't get free-to-play games that are offering like packs worth $50 or so. I understand $2, $5, maybe 10 But then when you get up into the 20s and 50s, uh, come on. Come on, guy, games, game designers and developers. You know, you're getting a bit extreme there, especially when you're not a full-on top-rated game. It's a good game. I like it, but come on. And then uh, the final one is the, uh, I don't know, again... I know it's a good mutant, but I don't see it used in PvP much. And a hundred dollars. Ooh, no, 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 no. Can't, no, no, just not worth it. Uh, and then uh, we've got this uh, flush sail mutant available here. It's a it's a double robot geno or a single robot geno. I'm not quite sure, but it's an old mutant. Thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, thousand gold. Uh, check your bingo grid, but it's an old mutant. I don't think it's going to be worth anything. 
And then you've got this uh, Virgin or Virgo, Virgon available uh, as a Zodiac Mutant, uh, normal version and silver version. Again, if you're going to buy one of these, buy the silver, you might as well. You're getting two bingo grids filled, the normal and the silver version available if you just buy the silver. So just keep that in mind. They're not great mutants. Um, I don't know if the game balancing has been fully implemented yet to boost these characters. I'm not 100% sure. Someone please help me in the comments below if that's happened. I know part of it's happened, but not all of it. Not quite sure. And then you've got the, uh, what was this called again with the three mutants? It's got the robots. Um, team play at its best available. So 3,760 gold. So you're paying over 1,000 gold for them each. And they're old mutants. Ugh. Look, I love the, um, the soccer robot one. I do like him. I don't think he made my cut, though. So even in, that being said, you know, it's not worth buying it. Even if you don't have all of them, you you know, paying over a 1,000 gold for them each. Bit steep, bit steep. Mm. Yeah, can't recommend that. And then you've got this uh, Cyber cyber Elite box available for 700 gold. Ooh, if you guys want to take a risk, count how much, go into your Mutantpedia and count how much... Um, cyber mutants you have and if you have more than half then it's not worth getting it less than half it's up to you if you want to take a risk i'm not going to take a risk oh okay how about you guys let me know in the comments i think i asked you last video i haven't read the comments though uh if you want me to do summons or yeah summon mutants through these box just to see if they're worthwhile i haven't read the comments in the last video but also put it down in this one if you want me to summon on that i can do it on my personal profile if you guys want as well uh because i have more gold available for me there then you got the mutostrone available five of them available for 125 gold look worthwhile again single player people probably get it but uh if you're if you've got a lot of friends that gift daily just stay away from it and then you got this other three uh, mutants available. Let me just go back and uh, check. I think I went way too far this time. Uh, what was it called? Between Fear and Madness available. So you've got three mutants for 2,840 gold. Again, I don't see all of those, but any of those being used in PvP. So unless you're trying to collect them all, you know, be a bit like Pokemon. Go ahead, but again, I can't recommend that for 2,800 gold. So now, guys, we are moving on to the week after this upcoming week. So two weeks in advance. Now, keep in mind, we should be having the anniversary available. Now, I don't know what's happening, guys, besides knowing that it's a continuation from last year's. I don't... Oh, pardon me. I don't know. If you know, check the comments. I encourage everyone to check the comments just in case someone's typed in something that I didn't say or corrected me or know something more than me than with the anniversary event. Back for 24 hours, Saturday to Friday, mutants available. We'll go through them one by one. We've got this mythological box available and uh, refreshing three mutants for, for, uh, for gold, for gold. So let's go through them now one by one. 24th, you've got, uh, Forget what this zombie guy is looking look like, but ain't under gold. Look, he's an okay mutant. I think he's a healer, so not a lot of people like healers personally. You've got, and then on the twenty fifth, like I like this guy only because when I first started playing, this was again one of my first ish mutants that I've got. The downside is there's no platinum version of him. This rhino guy is really cool. Got the speed of about um, I think it's about four. His speed is. So he's okay, but it's a bleed effect mutant. But I, I really liked him. I, I had him up as a gold version. He, he, he was gold plated. His armor was pretty much. He, he looked really good. I liked him. If you don't have him, guys, get him. He's worth credits. Feeling a bingo grid. <laughs> you know, I like him, but I wonder what his platinum version would look like. But he's still a bleed mutant, so he's probably not going to be really good for you guys anyway. Uh, this other mutant, um, it's a mythological mutant. Mythological Sabai. Correct me if I'm wrong. On the 26th available, 800 gold. Uh, check the bingo grid. It being an old mutant, I don't think anything's going to be there. Uh, 27th, you've got this 
skunk <laughs> or porcupine, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, available. 1,330 gold, N not worth getting. Um, yeah, again, you don't see these mutants being used in PvP. That's all I'm saying. Zombat available on the 28th for 550 gold. I used to use, he used to be one of my mutants that I used to, as a speed mutant to help me clear the uh, PvE quicker. But now he doesn't make the cut for me. He's not the, you know, I use Wind Spirit, um, Celsius, or Ceres, sorry, not Celsius, Ceres. And I can't think of the other one. And, and Pug Pugginton as my speed guys that I use. So if you guys need a speed guy to do the PvP, he's okay and 550 gold isn't bad, but he'll probably be available in, in the PvE event at some point in time. You got this robot available on the 29th um, for credit. So again, if you haven't got him, get him. But he's not a great mutant to talk, talk about just to fill in a bingo grid if you haven't got him. And then you've got this mage available. I can't think of its name. I know it's mage something, but I can't think of its full on name. For $2, ugh, I always, I'm just like spending real money for a mutant, unless that's that that's still guard and available for, available for $2. Get him. But again, you don't see him being used in PvP. So yeah, unless he's in bingo, unless it's bingo grid, you get something good. Don't spend real money. He'll come around again, possibly available for credits or maybe even free in the PvE event. And then you've got the, uh, what was it called? Refreshing, something like that. Yeah, refreshing. Three mutants available for gold. Um, Dr. Frost, and I can't remember the other two. Dr. Frost up front and the other two, I don't know their names. But 800 and, uh, 800, 2,880 gold. Can't recommend any of them because I don't see the menus in PvP as per usual. Just quote me how many I should have a count of how many times I've said that. But um, yeah, it, yeah. Again, look at your bingo grid. If it feels out something good, get it. If not, stay away. And then you got the mythological pack. As I said earlier, if you want me to summon on these guys, let me know in the comments below. I may even put up a poll. Um, yeah. Okay, so up in the very corner, guys, it will say um, something like, you know, Picky wants, uh, wants your advice or something like that. Just click up the top and it's a, it's a poll and uh, we'll, we'll see what you guys think. Do you want me to do summons or not? Let me know. And I think that is it. Yes, it is, guys. So anniversary events up. I may do a special anniversary news. I'm not sure. Uh, but expect me to do a lot more videos on the event that's happening, possibly even streaming. So guys, as per usual, I hope you enjoyed today's news, Fortnite of news for mutants. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. If you want to go that little extra further and help me out, feel free to share this video on any social media platforms or forums as you see fit. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye!